Hi, my name is Sue Kolod. I'm a psychoanalyst from New York City and a member of the American Psychoanalytic Association. Welcome to our video series, Coping with COVID, where we answer questions about the global pandemic. Today's question comes from John of Hudson, New York. He asks, how will I know when it's safe to resume my normal activities? Well, John, there is no one size fits all answer to your question. You have to weigh the risks and the benefits. There are the known risks for COVID-19, your age, the state of your health, whether you live in a sparsely or densely populated area, and how many people in your area are infected with the virus. There are also the psychological risk factors that fall between one of two extremes, the phobic and the counterphobic. A phobic person won't leave the house, they won't let anyone in, and they micromanage their surroundings in order to eliminate any possibility of exposure to the virus. A counterphobic person might jump into a potentially dangerous situation to try to get a handle on and not feel their anxiety. Most people fall somewhere between these two extremes. Now, John, if you tend more towards the phobic and you want to resume your normal activities, you're gonna to have to push yourself out of your comfort zone. But if you tend more towards the counterphobic, this would be a time to pause, to think about what you're doing, and maybe to take things more slowly. Now, for the benefits. There's no way to measure the benefit for you, John, of going out with friends, going to a concert, or exercising outside. That's something only you can gauge. You have to weigh the risks, and I'm including the psychological risks, against the benefits of any particular activity when deciding whether it's safe right now. And please, stay on top of the most current, scientifically-based information about the spread of the coronavirus. There's new information coming out every day. If you have a question you'd like us to answer, put it in the comments section and we'll try to get to it in our next video.